Today, we're gonna to be making homemade alphabet soup. And yes, I know Healthy Junk Food recently did a video on one, but um, did you actually watch it? JP uses pre-made soup. Also, why are the letters in the same font as the Corova Milk Bar from Clockwork Orange? Ugh, never mind. Let me just show you how to do it from scratch. Now, for this recipe, you're gonna need alphabet pasta. Huh, I just realized my hypocrisy over calling healthy junk food lazy for using pre-made ingredients when I'm too am using a pre-made ingredient. Listen, homemade pasta is rather labor intensive and requires its own episode. So just stick with store-bought pasta. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So take a pot of water and bring it to a boil over high heat. Alrighty, once the water reaches a boil, add in eight ounces by weight of our alphabet pasta. Oh, and if it begins to foam up like this, bring the heat down to medium low. All right, once you taste a few noodles without burning yourself, if it tastes al dente, turn off the heat, drain them and rinse them with cold water. Okay, our pasta is finished and it's now time to move on to part two, the tomato soup. Drizzle in one or two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil, Okay, once that heats up, add in one medium onion chopped. Let's also add two cloves of garlic minced. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Ooh, better mix that before it burns. We're not done adding spices. Half a teaspoon each of dried oregano and dried basil. And a pinch of cayenne pepper. Cook until the onions turn translucent. Okay, once the onions turn translucent, add one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Oops, forgot to reduce the heat below. Finally, add two cups of chicken stock. Now, if you're a vegan, you can use veggie stock. Oh, and uh, FYI, they're having a say on testicles down at Walmart. Why don't you go check that out? Give everything a good mixy mix. Bring it to a boil. And let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, after 10 to 15 minutes, kill the heat and blend this thing smooth with an immersion blender. Let's give this a little taste test. Huh. For the first time on the show, I don't have to make any adjustments. Huh, now that I think about it, I think I made too much pasta. Add about half of our cooked pasta. Alphabet soup brings me back to my childhood. I'd come home, warm up a bowl of this, and watch some of my favorite TV shows as I ate it. You are not! <laughs> Oh yeah, they don't show cartoons on daytime TV anymore. This has been Chase Cooking Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Skip to breakfast, okay?